Her dream is to one day make the cut. This 21-year-old football pro has her sights set on the national team. Thanks to the Matilda's success in obtaining equal pay, Margot is even more determined to achieve her goal. Prior to that, I think I never really realised that I could make it a career. More money is getting into the players um, and less and less people are having to rely on a second job. The Australians signed a historic agreement to close the gender wage gap in 2019, but it took years and extreme measures to get there. They took collective industrial action off the back of the collective bargaining negotiations breaking down with the Federation and they decided to forego a match against the US, the current world champions at the time, so it, it wasn't a decision made lightly by the players but they knew it was a, a necessary decision. The team now also guaranteed high performance training facilities, support staff and travel arrangements identical to the men's team, plus an equal split of all commercial revenues. The national women's teams in Ireland, Spain and the USA later clinched their own deals. Last month, FIFA announced it was tripling the prize pool money for this Women's World Cup. Matilda's defender Ellie Carpenter says she is proud of the team for paving the way. I feel very honoured to be part of the group that we have changed the game and I think this is just the first step. Like we see the prize money get increased but there is still a long way to go. Indeed, this year's prize is only a fraction of what was up for grabs at last year's men's tournament in Qatar. The football governing body says it's making strides towards prize money equality by 2027.